Hello everybody, my name is Dachi, welcome to RPG Labs, and are you guys ready to rumble? Because if you guys are, this video is going to be all for you guys. Now today we're going to be talking about weapons and how to use them properly, and also how to counter people with weapons. So hopefully you guys will enjoy, and well, let's get into the video. Now with weapons you also have rarities, you got the green, you got the blue, and then you got the purple, in that order when it comes to strength. Purple is always the highest when it comes to strength. The health is a little bit all over the show, for example the folding chair actually has 4 health but it's blue, but then when it comes to the blue sign you actually only get 3 hits with it. The amount of hits a weapon has is just indicated right here anyway, so if you need to check, you can check right there. Now weapon priority is actually one of the highest in the game as well. It's third, just underneath power and super. Now especially with the vicious move, this move basically allows you to go past blocking enemies but at the same time it is also really handy against clashing because it's still a weapon. Now a lot of people actually don't understand the priority system yet, if you pause your game you can quickly see the priority system going from bottom which is the lowest priority to the top which is the highest priority. Now one of my favorite things to do in this game is elbow dropping onto players who are least expecting it. But if they are suspecting it, I can actually use a weapon and actually drop straight down onto them and even if they block, it will still go straight through them. Just make sure you use the vicious version of this attack. Now a nice little tactic I like to use is actually bounce on top of cars but in place of jumping onto them with an elbow drop I'll actually jump onto them with a vicious attack. This means that they can't block it and they usually don't see it coming because they think it's going to be an elbow. Now just keep in mind that residential mailboxes, street signs and also baseball bats do not work when it comes to double bouncing. The rest of the items do work like the chairs and the trash cans and etc. Now one of the biggest, biggest tips I can give you in this game is to subscribe to this channel but also don't forget to subscribe to some other people's channels who are making lots of guides in this. There are plenty of people out there at the moment making guides in this game and trust me it, it's a beautiful community right now. So go out and check out a whole bunch of channels, I'm sure you'll find some amazing ones. And hey if they only have a couple hundred subscribers even better because that might be a rising star in the YouTube community. Anyway let's get on with the video again. Now when you do start a fight, it's always smart to start off with a vicious attack. This basically means you'll have weapon priority, but at the same time they cannot block the attack. Meaning you get a nice few hits. Now I personally do think that the chair is probably one of the best to actually start a visceral attack with, just because of the distance it actually travels with the visceral as well. Now the other weapons aren't bad either, it's just that the chair is definitely my favorite, but for example the baseball bat is actually really handy for when you're near water and you can actually knock people straight into that water. Now most people actually don't consider this really a weapon, but I kind of do. When it comes to weapons, you can basically use anything in your pocket. Apart from books, because books are just absolutely terrible, never throw a book. But you can actually throw all the items in the game, including your food, which is the chicken, your protein powders, and even some of the other stuff in the game. I would really recommend throwing all of this sort of stuff when you're kind of in a little bit of a pickle and you're just trying to get a quick stun on someone so you can get either a grab on them or any other sort of combo that you can devastate your opponent with. Now I quite like this little clip I actually have over here because it really shows how powerful your little protein drinks can be in your pocket. Now as you can see he has a weapon so he's got an attack priority over me but I have a little protein powder which means I can quickly stun him with and then I can knock the weapon out of his hand. He tries to go for the weapon again but as soon as he tries that I go for another knock and get the weapon off of him. Then I throw the weapon at him disabling the weapon and it means that he has to run away like a little coward. The thing is people never expect you to throw supplies at them because I mean supplies are valuable in this game and especially like protein powders which can actually level you up and make you do more damage and get more health etc. But the thing is they're completely useless if you're KO'd in the game or actually even worse they can actually help your enemy win the game. Now you do need to learn the timing of this because if you actually throw it while they're way too far away they can actually just pick up your protein powder or your chicken or whatever it is and actually just walk away with it. You also don't want them to be too close, so you really want to try to get that medium range on them. Another really good counter against people with weapons is doing the flying kick, because you always have the flying kick and it will always be a power move. Which means it will always have priority over weapons, so if you are ever in a pinch, do a flying kick, it will actually counter the weapons. This video was a little bit shorter than usual, but hopefully you guys still enjoyed it, and well, if you guys did like it, maybe subscribe and do all that kind of stuff. And don't forget to support some other creators out there, and well, I'll catch you guys later. 
Bye.